Hello everyone, I'm Alexandru Kutinyuk and today I'm going to show you a position from my game with Oliver Corman played in the Swiss Chess Championship in the summer of 2011. In this game I was playing white, I opened the game with not so usual for me move d4 and then after some transpositions we played the Slav defense, a very quiet line with e3, b3, bishop e2, bishop b2, and after 15 moves we reached the following position. I just retreated my queen from e4 to e3, I just played queen e3 and it was black to move. The strongest move that black has here is the move c5, which already happened in the game between Medvedge and Ernst, where after rook f to e1, knight f6, d5, knight e4, players reached an approximately equal position, and after a long and interesting battle, the game ended in a draw. But my opponent decided to wait and see what will happen after playing rook c to d8. But in that case, I have a very strong continuation, a very strong combination, which I found during the game, and which starts with the move c5. That's why it was so important to play c5 with black a move earlier. Since when I'm playing c5, I'm blocking the bishop on b7, and I'm also opening my bishop on e2, which after b takes c5 comes into play with a very strong force, bishop c4. And now the pawn on e6 is hanging. My opponent continued the game with knight b6, but that was not the strongest move that black had. And actually during the game, before I played c5, I looked at the following line. I thought that the strongest move for black is rook f to e8, protecting the pawn on e6, and after knight g5, black can protect it even more by playing knight to f8, but in that case, after d takes e5, bishop takes e5, I have a very strong knight takes e6 move. And despite the fact that black can take my queen on e3, bishop takes e3, I play here knight takes d8 check, king h8, since after knight e6, I will just take the knight on e6, bishop a6, bishop takes a6, and black cannot take my knight on e6, since I will play bishop c4, winning the queen back, and if black retreats his bishop, for example, to b6, I can take the pawn on g7, knight takes g7, and I have a rook, a bishop, a knight, and a pawn for the queen, which is more than enough, and black's king is very exposed, so my position is won. If after knight takes d8, black plays king h8, then I continue by playing knight f7, king g8, knight h6, king h8, knight takes f5 with a fork, and again I'm threatening to play on g7 as well as to take on e7, and I'm just winning here. That's why after knight takes e6, black cannot take on e3. He should continue the game by playing knight takes e6, but then I will just take on e6, bishop takes e6, king h8, and here a very strong move, a very strong idea that actually I, I used it in the game. I have queen h6, using the fact that my bishop on b2 is pinning the pawn on g7, I'm threatening to take on f5, bishop takes f5, and then to checkmate my opponent. That's why black has to protect the f5 pawn by playing bishop c8. But in that case, I can just play bishop c4, rook takes d1, rook takes d1, and now queen e1 is not dangerous, since I will just take on e1, rook takes e1, and play bishop f1. And white has a big advantage here but that was definitely the strongest line for black and i was very happy with this line before i played c5 but my opponent was probably so shocked after i played c5 on bishop c4 that he didn't really 
see this line and just played knight to b6. But in that case, I just took the pawn on e6. Bishop takes e6, check, king h8, d takes c5, bishop takes d5. And now after queen h6, the same idea that I just showed you in the previous line here is much stronger since I have my knight on f3, which is threatening to go to g5, and then queen takes h7, checkmate. And if black tries to close the a1 h8 diagonal by playing bishop to d4, I will just take this bishop on d4, knight takes d4, and after g takes h6, knight takes a5 check. I'm winning back the queen as well as checkmating my opponent in the very near future. So that's a very nice and actually classical breakthrough c5, which you really need to watch out when playing with black in the slav defense, because the main problem that black has in the slav defense is this white squared bishop. So as soon as black opens this bishop, he has a normal play. If white manages to block him from coming into the game, then white has an advantage. And in this game, black already weakened his king side and his pawn on e6 by playing f5 earlier, so he really needs to be careful about this a2 g8 diagonal and the pawn on e6, and definitely rook c2 d8 was just too slow. It let white finish the game with a very nice combination. Thanks for listening to me. That was Alexandra Kostinyuk. Want to improve at chess? Well, coaches are hard to find. Current softwares like Rocket Science, and worse, they're all very expensive. So frustrated you keep playing online, and your rating goes down. There has to be a better way. Well, there is. Chess King. Chess King is awesome, affordable, and makes it fun and easy to improve at chess. But how? With Chess King on your PC, learn and test your skills in the puzzle mode. Play to unlock levels in a quest for trophies. Or get challenged to varied starting setups at any strength you choose. Enter the moves into your own game database, and Chess King will help you find all your mistakes with its built-in Grandmaster Chess Engine and Giga Database of over 5 million games. The best part of winning at chess is to share your games with the world. Check out the easy Export to Blog button, as well as Export to PDF. Now, have fun playing chess and show your friends how strong you've become. Chess King, your coach to improve at chess.